we should just enjoy ourselves. I said I'd never have come here. I didn't hear you complain when you were banging your way through the Australian didgeridoo team. Used to detach with. So I'm not a computer genius. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interesting. Is that the kind of crowd you are? <laughs> Stand up. You do stand up. Yeah. How do you rehearse? Do you stand up in the middle of a room and just like talk to the? I don't at all. I'm sure some people do. You're like a jazz musician. You're riffing on your own material. You're, you're weaving Funny in. Funny you should say that because he had me watch um, Thelonious Monk, and he's like, "Look, you don't think he studied that? Like, go home and study your lines with your scale. This guy would rehearse and then let let it go." And, Play Let it go and do what? And, and then improvise. It's the same composition, or no? No, I mean, no. I know, I'm sure if, he, if he's in a moment on stage live within the, the framework of his scale. I'm going to leave here today and I'm going to go to talk to my director after this conversation and go, I refuse to learn my lines. <laughs> but oh, at this point, saying... like, you, it needs to be a muscle memory because my problem is I never memorize anything ever to the point where. I've been doing stand up for 10 years. If you ask me, like, tell me a joke, I'd go, oh, because I always have to be in that moment right, right. before going on stage where I'm kind of terrified. And I perpetually um, have that feeling like, I have nothing. I don't have anything. But that's what, like, drives me to do it in a sense. Because mm -hmm. when I know it, I've had times where I've been on stage and I'm like, here's this thing that happened. They don't know, but I know. Because then it becomes acting. I have to act like I haven't said it before. Right, right. Like, I'm okay, you know, I'll get the job done. Ooh, what, whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm trying to tell you guys I want something more than that, something beyond that, you know? J just for the day, just to not have anything else in my mind. I just want to be, like, stupid hot. <laughs> like, the kind of girl she knows she's hot, but that's about all she knows. <laughs> I mean, I like... Uh, films because they're a unique one story thing, but I don't like films because they usually take longer. I like stuff, I like 24 is great because so it would be like many pages a day. Which... 24 is an actor's experience. They like the scene that they see you rehearse, and right. Then, right? Right. Beautiful. And you run the scene from beginning to end every time. They just change it up and they keep running it back, you know. Then you've got that camera uh, guy as a character in the thing oh, with you. Oh, yeah. This uh, steady, the, the handheld guy. Spontaneity. Oh my god. Improv. Mm -hmm. You can feel him being creative and he gets excited when he, yeah. he's like more complicated. You know, he's in a black suit on wheels, moving backwards. Uh, on a and he's literally a character uh, in the scene with you. You're, you're, you're dancing with this, this other uh, partner, you know. That's awesome. As you're talking, you know you have to. He's allowed to have the creativity yeah, within oh, this structure to do that. But there are some projects tonight, and I've only worked on a couple of them, where actually the actors are really open to, and the directors too. It depends on the project, to, to improvising when the cameras are rolling. You know, I worked on uh, Flight of the Concord, and those guys, it was going from the set of 24 to going to their set, their coverage was, like if you and I were talking, camera here, camera there, and then we would go through it three times, say it differently every time, right. and then moving on. When you get that kind of material and that raw material, you get all the notes that they play, and then you get to cut it together mm -hmm. to make the, t the tune that you want. You can do anything with it in the editing world. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter what we do when the cameras are all fine. They can, seriously, they can cut our performance <laughs> and make us say stuff that, doesn't even, sure. that we never even said. <laughs> you know? I forget who it was, I think it was Jimmy D. Not the sausage guy. Who said uh, they were talking about acting? And he said, uh, "Dynamite only goes off once." Oh hell yeah! So you can't you can't recreate two explosions in the same. I mean, they're going to be different every time.
I look back on all I've done, all I've run to, all I've run from, all I know is you are the one I remember best. Memories haunt me, memories fade, some bring pleasure, some bring pain, all I know is yours is the one. I want to have again and again All I know is how happy I am There's going to be, like, you, you know, you might not be, how, how the hell did I play that? How the hell did I put those three notes together that way? you got to go back and listen to it again to be able to recreate that. I don't care if you're Eric Clapton or, oh. you know, uh, or Absolutely. Robin Williams. He's going he's gonna to look at his live performances if he wants to tell a joke the same way twice. When I was in college, I, I, I played the drums for a while with the dancers, and, and there was this one uh, uh, musician out of San Francisco named Gw Gwendolyn Watson. She was a cellist, and she used to do improv uh, with dance troops. And, they, and then she'd get up there with her cello, and she'd have a drummer and maybe a guitar player. And they'd start, they'd start dancing, and then we'd start playing around them and weaving mm -hmm. stuff in and out, and you know, weird vocal stuff. And it's just give and take. And so to, I guess the way to make that to, 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 to wind that back to what we're talking about in terms of acting is that, you know, you give and take off your stuff, you give and take off yourself. So you've got something memorized and it's going to remind you of something in that, you know, that jungle of synapses that go off in your imagination. It's, it's going to take you somewhere else. Uh, I like an HGTV, I just put it on and leave it on. <laughs> but even that gets too stressful, you know, like the, the property brothers, they're like, hey, do you love this house? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, you can't have it. <laughs> Oftentimes I don't have an idea of what I want to say. Or I'll have half an idea, right. and once I get on stage, the idea either completes itself or doesn't complete itself. Or I figure out something based on the energy or the reaction of the audience. Right. That's true spontaneity. If you're having an interview with somebody, I've seen you on talk shows n numerous times. And that's the whole thing, is that you're going to take that moment, what that person says to you, and, and weave it into another uh, ex experience. I like what you're saying. That's really, that's really good. All I know is how happy I am. I am to have